Everyone's a winner on Rochester Hills Business Update. The Mayor's Business Council recently honored their three Champion Award winners and bestowed the coveted Executive Leadership Award. Champion Awards go to companies who showed strong growth, initiative, or community presence. The first honoree was Customized Manufacturing and Assembly. Customized Manufacturing and Assembly has been around since 2004, producing automotive component assemblies. While other similar companies were struggling, CMA was expanding. Their products can now be found pretty much everywhere. We're a catch-all in the automotive industry. Um, from Cut and Sew, you'll see our products in the Chrysler uh, 300, the Alex Ritchie Bolster on a Cut and Sew side. Uh, we've expanded into lighting, so we do uh, produce the Chevy Volt Illuminated Charge Port. Uh, we're getting into more illuminated emblems, uh, sill plates, uh, carpet retainers, illuminated sill plate and carpet retainers. Then behind the scenes, we do a lot of metal fabrication. We do some, um, we produce some uh, investment casting, some die casted parts. And that business expansion has led to the need for physical expansion. We are moving in the same uh, business park, um, a larger uh, facility than what we have now. We've done some big things in the past year. We've signed a manufacturing agreement with a $250 million French firm named Trev's TSC, seating components. So our cut and sew side of our business is really taking off. Uh, most recently, we have got contracts for what GM calls mutter covers. It's a seat cover for both the Equinox and the Traverse. Um, we've been awarded illuminated emblems for the Chevy Cruze and the Chevy Traverse. Um, outside of that, we've also been awarded the uh, Chevy Bolt illuminated charge port. This will be our fourth building in the past 12 years with the amount of growth we've experienced. We see it as a very positive experience um, with our new manufacturing partner. Um, we need that growth um, and the expansion. I mean, it's always good to expand. It means that you're doing something right. Doing something right indeed. That's what makes Customized Manufacturing and Assembly a 2016 Champion Award winner. The second of their three Champion Award winners was Data Speed. Now, regular watchers of the update may remember our feature on Data Speed's grand opening. If not, here's a refresher. A new company just moved to Rochester Hills called Data Speed. This is Baxter. Baxter can do a lot of the same things that other robots can do. But Baxter is unique in that it has sensors that allow it to be what's called a collaborative robot. So a collaborative robot is safe to work around people. And what we do is we take a collaborative robot and we put it on wheels. So we build a hardware and software platform which essentially functions as a base, put the robot on there and then we can move, it can move autonomously by itself. So there's applications of machine tending, uh, manufacturing and different, different area applications in that area. And that's not the most innovative thing Data Speed does because they are on the cutting edge of driverless vehicle technology. You may have heard of the Google car. Data Speed makes the system that Google would use to make their driverless cars work in the real world. The really hard part is object detectance and avoidance. And that's what the Google car is trying. So actually, Sebastian Thrun, who's the founder of the Google Car Project, just bought one of our vehicles like two weeks ago. Um, and so what we do is we give them our, we, we sell them our car, and then they put all their sensors on it to try to read the software and figure out ways that, I mean, if you think about things that are kind of intuitive for a person, like you see, you see three people stop at a stop sign at the same time. You know, well, this person kind of nodded, go ahead. Well, how does a computer read that? How does a computer sense that? So then they're kind of writing the software so that they can do that. Congratulations, Data Speed, for being a Mayor's Business Council champion. The final Champion Award winner is not only celebrating a Champion Award, but also its 20th anniversary. Alain Palis started Aduxi 20 years ago to make precision plastic parts, mainly for the automotive industry. Aduxi opened their North American headquarters right here in Rochester Hills in 2014. We brought a few very interesting uh, uh, concepts uh, around here. It starts with, I would say, traditional injection uh, that we complement with uh, uh, some um, linear robots that will still provide a good level of automation. Uh, and we also have uh, full-blown automated machines 
uh, that are pretty much running by themselves, uh, yielding a, a very large amount of parts. We are focusing more and more into uh, what uh, people call driver assistance features, such as radars, cameras, ultrasonic sensors, and we definitely participate through this in the, the upward trend of the so-called connected vehicle. Aduxi runs with a very innovative pack, working daily on bringing the future to the present. It's no surprise that they joined the Mayor's Business Council almost immediately upon opening their doors. The Business Council is a great uh, initiative. It really makes us uh, industrials in, in the area come together uh, on a regular basis. Uh, it's a good networking opportunity and it's a great way to uh, share experiences, problems and successes as well uh, with our peers. Uh, all of this is done with, I believe, the right spirit and the right level of energy, um, which is great, uh, while not uh, taking so much time. Uh, I like the convenience of those early morning uh, meetings and uh, the attendance is, is always uh, very, very interested and interesting. Congratulations, Aduxi, on 20 years of precision innovation and for being a Champion Award winner. The Executive Leadership Award goes to an individual who displays exemplary leadership both at work and in the community. This year's winner certainly does that, and in many ways. The winner of the 2016 Executive Leadership Award is Steve Benedettini. We see Steve's impact on the community in two ways. The first is through his work with Spalding Decker on high-profile projects like Oakland University's student housing or clock tower, the new home to the Red Wings Little Caesars Arena, and the M1 Rail Project. Steve and his team make a big difference to large groups of people. Well, we are employee owned and we have about 75 employees, the majority of which own some stock in the company. So that makes us a little bit different than uh, a typical firm where you've got a handful of owners. Um, so at, at Spalding, our employees are looking to see um, how we're doing as a company and, and they're holding its leaders to a higher standard. Um, but also I think there's more of an attitude to give back. It's this giving back that sets Steve apart as an extraordinary leader and leads to the second way that Steve impacts the community. Through Steve's leadership, Spalding Decker and he personally are very involved in many local charities such as Life Remodeled, literally building a better life for individual families, food pantry drives, gifts for military families, and more. A year ago, my wife and I and a friend of ours, Lana Donnett, started a, a charity called uh, 100 Faithful Friends, and over the last year, We've provided uh, awards totaling uh, close to $40,000 to five different local charities, charities like Dutton Farms, Life Builders, Pontiac Dream Center, um, FaithWorks. And so uh, once we got that up and running, we thought, well, maybe uh, we could use that model and create uh, something that businesses could get behind. And it's taken shape in a group called 100 Businesses Who Care. With 100 businesses who care, businesses will agree to get together uh, twice a year and make a contribution of $500 to whatever charity is selected at the, uh, at, the, at the meeting. And so the theory is you get 100 businesses times $500, that's a $50,000 donation that's made to a charity uh, in a one hour meeting. So it's short, it's simple, it's not a huge time commitment, but yet it's very impactful. Congratulations to Steve Benedettini, your 2016 Executive Leadership Award winner. Congratulations to the Champion Award winners and to Steve Benedettini on your success and contributions to Rochester Hills and beyond. Business is always happening in Rochester Hills, so we'll have another update soon.